in uh, an orbital night. We're expecting sunrise in uh, just about 15 minutes. Ground controllers here in uh, Houston estimate uh, the uh, arrival to the capture point uh, in just over three minutes. Station Houston on two, confirm capture point hold for step six in 1.102. Also heads up, the window is going to open one minute after sunrise, GMT 1047, so you'll see darkness outside until then. The sun just starting to peak over the horizon, starting to illuminate the surfaces of the International Space Station and cargo vehicle, giving ground controllers and and the uh, astronauts aboard the International Space Station now a great view of the cargo vehicle ready for capture. The sun continuing to rise, the International Space Station sits at 252 statute miles uh, over the North Pacific Ocean, just about to uh, cross over the west coast of uh, Canada. NASA astronauts Kate Rubens and uh, Jeff Williams now in the cupola workstation of the International Space Station, uh, operating the station's robotic arm. Moving through their procedures for dragon capture means they are preparing uh, for moving the arm uh, into its capture position to uh, grapple the uh, SpaceX cargo vehicle, now sitting at 11.2 uh, meters away uh, from the International Space Station. Confirm that the uh, station's robotic arm is in motion, heading towards the uh, SpaceX cargo vehicle, preparing for capture. three meters uh, away from capture. View from the camera of the uh, International Space Station's robotic arm. Dragon in free drift, uh, two meters away from capture. one meter. Over the pin. And that is confirmed capture of the SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle on its uh, commercial resupply mission 9, 556 AM Central Time, passing over the uh, Great Lakes at five, uh, two, uh, 252 statute miles above the Earth.
and confirmed good capture from the ground control uh, flight controllers here in Houston.